Hello world! It's Sunday over here. Very late evening. Shadows are really long as they say. We don't have much light left. We're just trying to get a few cuts done for part two of our mini mini solar powerhouse video. And Bianca has got all the measurements here for these first five boards. Six boards, and we're gonna get these knocked out for the first wall. How long is that board? Seven foot five. finally reached the limitation on our tools and that would be the battery powered circular saw. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't actually knock these all out. Nice trick you're doing there with the circular saw. What trick? Line up the zero and then using the framing square. It's yeah. a good trick. I think to make sure that the zero is actually in line with the blade because it doesn't always, it's not always, depending on the quality of your circular saw. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> that's all six. No cuts here. <laughs> so those are the studs of the wall. Can you tell now that they're cut? Two, six, six feet and two and a half inches. Never mind the grocery list. Don't starve underneath. together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Twenty-three six feet four inches. That's a lot of two by fours. It's a good thing we got a giant pile of them. I'm just cutting the smaller ones, like the less quantities first. <laughs> Run for your life, cat! Oh, that dog wouldn't harm a flea. No, the cat was actually biting her. <laughs> Here we go. Next cuts. What's this one at? Six feet, two and a half inches. You just want me to lay down? Come hold it. <laughs> what? Stop filming. Okay. I thought you were so skilled with the one hand. I was going to comment on how awesome it was. There you go. Happy. Okay, there. Bianca's amazing skills with one-handed carpentry. Uh-oh. What's wrong? What's wrong is that I just noticed that when it says 5-7 is actually at half an inch, not actually 5 feet 7 inches. Is so there a decimal on there? Are cut wrong. What? Oh no! Yep. Bianca messed up. So I'm gonna cut these smaller because we need some smaller ones anyways. Oh, that's a good good cover. Good cover, Bia. Yep. We'll totally cut that air out. No, I won't. Hey. <laughs> So 
So what you're saying it's seven foot ten down at the bottom or where? What? Where's the issue on the tape measure? I'm trying to find out what happened. Well, you see where it says here seven, uh, six two. It's not actually six two. Six two is over here. So I don't know why they put put it over here. Six one is not really here. Six one is over here. They're talking about these. No, these are centimeters. Like yeah, seven those. two. Yeah, that's not actually seven two. That's seven one and a half. Eighty six is seven two. Look at they start. Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? Maybe they expect you to know that and just yeah put well, it over here. What a terrible tape retarded. measure. <laughs> oh well. Things happen. Uh, this is from the dollar store, so. Oh, it's a dollar store tape measure. Yep. We only buy high quality tools here at Morton's Farm. <laughs> Aria always entertaining herself. If you want to get me one more two by fours. Sure thing, Bia. So if we needed any more indication of why we needed an actual structure to protect everything, this is just a couple days sitting out here. Look at all this sand that is built up on this pile. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, our generators, all our stuff that's generating power for us is currently out in this weather. That's why we're doing this. I'm just labeling the lumber here. Seven foot five? Yeah, but can you not step in them? Just a second. So, we have almost everything cut for all the other random lumber that's not uh, the main studs anyways, because that takes up the majority of it. We have six eight-footers here, a couple that are three foot three. This is most likely for the header above the door entry. A um, bunch of other randomly sized lumber here, and then all these ones marked with X's are studs. The three there have not been cut yet. We're completely running out of daylight. Not sure if you can tell. This uh, camera seems to be pretty good on picking up darkness. But it's about to drop behind the mountain and we're gonna be left in the bark pretty quick style. So what we're gonna try to do is just bang together one wall. And then we have all the rest of the cutting to do later. This is all the lumber we have left. I think we're gonna be short, but we'll see when we get there. There's only so much planning you can do when you use a dollar tape measure. <laughs> right, Bianca? Sure. <laughs> All right. I got the drill. We're going to pre-drill a lot of the holes just so we can have some pilots going and we don't split all this lumber that we just work so hard to cut nicely. Here goes. One of my favorite things about setting up the floor first is that you can just lay the wall down on the nice flat surface on a nice flat surface and install it. Alright, we're going to need that. Lumber layout comes first, then comes the hammering. I really hope that soon or someday I'll get like a tripod set up with a camera that can take time lapse or something like that and I won't have to freehand the camera so then you could actually see us assemble this but honestly it's just a wall. Um, I wouldn't recommend following our instructions for residential walls but like Larry Hahn or somebody else like that on YouTube who uh, you know are amazing framers. We just draw plans. Like 
So these are the side walls? Yep, just one side wall. One side wall? Mm-hmm. Alright, so this is the end of the wall here. That's the other end of the wall. This would be the floor. That would be the ceiling. This right here on its side is called a California corner. It's just uh, to make button the other wall up against it easier when we lay it up. More on that later. So now we get to start hammering. Well, pre drilling and then hammering. Like I was saying, I want to make sure we don't split our wood. Isn't that amazing? Just, just like that. Looks like a wall. All I'm going to do now is fasten it together and we'll probably go inside and have some dinner. Alright, so we ran out of sunlight. That should be apparent by the flash and the lack of light. But, you know, we're newbie framers. Worried about splitting everything, pre-drilled every hole. Are having trouble actually getting it installed here. It just slides off the plywood when we try to nail it in, so we're having some newbie issues. Day one framer. Mm, All right. But that's fine though. We're having a crock pot dinner tonight anyway, so we'll just go back inside. And our dinner will still be waiting for us. And dinner will be ready. I just gotta get one wall finished, you know? Just one. Now let's flip it on edge, try to install it. Are these studs all the way over here? Yep. You gonna do that side first? Yeah, might as well. All right, now we're gonna finish this up and then hopefully we'll have one square of a wall done. So Morse is going to lift our side walls. Hey look, it looks like a side wall. It's in the front, but it looks like a side wall. Fancy 45 degree side wall. <laughs> So, yep, that one's gonna go right there where he is. Awesome. Now, next one is tomorrow or later. <laughs> Too dark, and his arm is hurting, and he doesn't want me hammering. <laughs> Any, project. <laughs> Any last words? Hmm. Stay tuned for part two of the video, I guess, when we actually get all the plans that we drew up. Um, I started in 2D, we finished in full 3D with a SketchUp 3D model of it. I'll probably be putting plans up for that. And then uh, after we finish it, of course. That's it. Have a wonderful weekend. Never mind the cats playing in the background. <laughs>